Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back. You know, we've been looking at systems of linear equations, and today we're going to look at word problems. All right, I know sometimes students have trouble with word problems, but there are three types of word problems we're going to look at that are systems of equations word problems. In today's objective, to set up and solve three types of linear system word problems. The essential question is how do we set up a linear system of equation word problems? How do we set it up? The setup, again, is the key. Now, we've looked at three methods for solving systems of equations. Just, just to review, we solve by graphing, which you can graph them and look at the intersection of the two lines. You can solve by substitution, and that works best when one or both equations are already solved for one of the variables. Or we can use elimination, all right, which is when you, you find an additive inverse and then add the equations together to eliminate one of the variables, solve for it, and then plug it in to one of the original equations to find the other variable. All right, now we're going to look at three types of linear word problems. And you can use whichever method you want to solve them well, once they're set up. We're going to look at raising funds, selling tickets, and vans and buses. All right, those are the three kinds of word problems we're looking at. Now, example one is raising funds. This is Amy and Elisa. All right, they're selling uh, pies for a school fundraiser. The customers can buy blueberry pies and blackberry pies. So those are going to be the two variables. Amy sold four blueberry pies and 14 blackberry pies for a total of $320. Alyssa sold 12 blueberry pies and 10 blackberry pies right, for a total of $274. And they're asking what's the cost of one blueberry pie and one blackberry pie? That's what they're asking here. All right, we look at the word problem. We can do what's called mark the text and underline it or highlight different things that are important to you. All right, when it says here, Amy sold four blueberry pies and 14 blackberry pies. All right, that's that first equation right there. Because again, I'm saying X is equal to the cost of one blueberry, Y is equal to the cost of one blackberry. All right, so just read the equation or read the sentence in the word problem and then write the equation. All right, so kind of this reddish one is Amy. And Alyssa is the blue one. It says she t sold 12 blueberry pies, so that's 12 times X, plus 10 blackberry pies, so that's plus 10 Y, because Y is the cost of 1. All right, times 10 gives you the cost of 10. And they had the total was $274. Once the problem is set up like this, guys, just go to Desmos and solve it. Or use whatever method you want to solve it. Okay, the setup today is the key. I want you guys to get the setups right. All right let's look at example two. Example two is selling tickets. This is uh, Eduardo. He's going to sell tickets to a play. The first day of ticket sales, the school sold five senior tickets and four student tickets. All right, so these are two types of tickets, senior tickets and student tickets, for a total of 90 bucks. All right, the second day, the school took an $80, sold seven senior tickets and one student ticket. All right, find the price, again, of one senior ticket and one student ticket. Again, first thing you do is define your variables. X is the price of a senior ticket. Y is the price of a student ticket. Then you set up your systems of equations by reading the sentence. It says the first day they sold five senior and four student. That's 5X plus 4Y for a total of $90. The second day the total was $80. And they sold seven senior tickets and one student ticket. So it's just one Y. And once the problem is set up, 
You can use Desmos to solve it. And this one you could actually use um, substitution to solve the second one for y. Either one. You could use elimination too by multiplying the bottom equation by negative 4. All right, the last one is the vans and buses. All right, it's a senior class at a high school A and high school B. They plan separate trips to the local amusement park. Now, the senior class at the high school A, they rented and filled three vans and 12 buses with 630 students. High school B rented two vans and six buses and filled them with 320 students. Each van and bus carries the same number of students. All right, each van carries the same number as e each other van. And each bus carries the same number as each other bus. What we want to do is find the number of students in each van and in each bus. All right, so we set up the systems of equation. The first thing we do is define our variables, x, y. x is the number of students in the van, and y is the number of students in the bus. All right, then read the sentence. High school A is in red here, kind of that reddish-orange. They're saying they filled three vans, so that's 3x, and 12 buses, 12y, with 630 students. High school B rented and filled two vans and six buses. So that's 2x plus 6y for a total of 320 students. And once it's set up, you can use Desmos. You can use elimination for this one by multiplying that second one right here by negative 2. That eliminate the y. All right, that's it. Guys, today's warm-up assignment, it asks you to match the type of problem with the best method of solving, the type of systems of equation problem with the best method of solving. And then we'll practice these word problems. All right, thanks.